We've made it to the final game of the season in season one of The Journeyman. And everything is on the line. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Stingerman Journeyman and here we are with Lima Vedi United, our new favourite team in Northern Ireland. We're at the tail end of the season, you can see above me there, it's the 9th of April. What a season this has been. I left you last time after that heartbreaking defeat to Dollingstown where we absolutely batted them but we got beat 2-3 and then the legendary McFly got himself injured for the whole season. There he is, Lee McFly Toland, started the season like a house on fire, far too good for the league, and then he snapped his ankle. So he's only played nine games all season long. He's just got himself fit now, and boy oh boy, do we need him now. The season's been a bit of a battle, I won't lie to you. So after that game against Donningstown, we had a couple of good results there. 1-1, 6-1, 2-0, 3-1, 4-2. -1, we were flying, we were flying. I thought, we are going to smash this league. And then something happened. You can see here, the games just went a little bit itty and bitty. Now, in this league of only 11 teams, there's not a lot of games to turn it around. So, before long, we found ourselves marooned in mid-table without a hope in hell. Up until a tactic change in the last few games. Let me show you. So, as we scroll on down here, too many draws, too many draws. A heartbreaking defeat in the cup, but we have won that last three games, which has given us a slimmer of a chance. There is the Premier Intermediate League and you can see us there in 5th position. The champions have gone already. They've destroyed this league. Ama, 41 points. They're out of the equation. Now look at it. We've only played 19 games. For most leagues, this would be halfway point of the season. For this league, we've got one left. And our one game. Take a closer look at the table. Now you can see there that Ama have done it. They are champions. Under them is Dollingstown, our nemesis. They are sitting on 32 points. Distillery come next with 31, Tobermore United with 30, and then ourselves with 30. Any of these four teams can claim that second place, and remember what second place means, it means the playoffs. I wanted an easy ride this first season, no stress, nice and chilled, let's worm our way in, but now we've got a massive stress situation, last game of the season, if we win, we get into the playoffs, first time of asking. Here is a tactic that has Got us on this run right at the tail end of the season. It's Lai Cheat and Steel 22. If any of you were viewers last year for FM21, you'll know that Lai Cheat and Steel was the tactic I used, the 4-4-2 variation in non-league football with Darlington to get them all the way up to the Premier League. This is the 22 variation so far. I've been tweaking it as we go, and you can see down the side there that the team instructions are very limited, and that's what we need to focus on for players that are not quite technically amazing just to get the job done. Before we get into these massive, massive final round of fixtures, let's have a little catch up with the squad that we know and love, the Madman, McFly, all them boys, see how they've been performing. So Stu, the Madman, McMullen, our version of John Terry that we bought off Wish.com. Hey, he's had a good season. He's had 17 games, 7.22 rating in the league. Rock solid. He still hasn't got a picture. If we stay another season, maybe we'll get him one. Babyface, McBride, Corey. The one signing that we made that we really thought was going to make a difference and do you know what? He's done all right, hasn't he? 10 goals overall, 8 in the league, in 14. Again, with a league this short, it's really hard to make a really devastating impact. Not a lot of games, but he's done the business so far. The shining light of the whole season, Alex Pumaroy. We thought he would be, and he has shown that as well. 20 goals in 28 in the league. He's got 12 in 19. Absolutely ruthless in front of the goal. And finally, Anton Declan McKeever. Had to step in when McFly got himself injured and he's done a great job for me. Five assists from that wing-back role on the left-hand side. 35 years old. You're not retiring yet, son. On to the manager profile. And this is where we keep a track of how we're doing in the game. Start of our career and we've had a little bit of movement. Get your eyes over to tactical. We started at five. We're now up to six. Now, I'm not saying I'm the next Jose or Pep. But we started on that horizon. We're just starting to walk towards the goals now. Over here, hands-on approach has gone up to 60%. That's the biggest movement. And obviously, domestic player bias has gone up because what else can I use? 
A quick visit to the Data Hub, and this kind of shows how we've been a bit inconsistent this season. We're doing really well in some instances, but some not so well. For example, attacking efficiency, it's enjoying our work. They can see us there, Limavad United, in the aggressive and clinical shooting area. So that's good. On the other hand, defensively, aerial, we struggle a bit. There you can see us way down, fewer headers, pure heading. So we're not winning many headers. The boys at the back, led by Madman, have struggled a bit. Lots of crosses coming in. Tackling, we've done really well. So we're winning the ball back well. We just can't cope when the crosses are coming. And our crosses, we're pinging in a load of crosses and we're inaccurate. So that's when I changed things in the tactics hubs. I got off early crosses and we just concentrated a bit more on passing and waiting for a better opportunity to calm them down a bit to stop giving possession away. You can see there in team instructions now. We don't have early crosses. We're just leaving them off just because we've given away too many. Right, it's game day. This is going to be hard to watch because there's going to be three or four games that we need to watch that are going to affect what we're doing. We're the outsider, we're fifth. Goal difference is not in our favour, but stranger things have happened, right? By the way, before I get to that, it's really hard to improve your team at this sort of level because look at the training schedule. You have one or two because the semi-pro, the butchers working, they're at Sainsbury's working, they're down the gym being a personal trainer, and then they rock up to us to play a match. So they're not going to improve massively. Final thing before we get to these matches, and this is a record scratch moment. Oh dear. Although, although, it looks like they're quite happy with what I've done. I'll give you a closer look. They're saying they were pleased. End of next season, they want promotion, but for this year, they're quite happy. All right. Here are the fixtures for the final games of the season. And what sticks out? We've got Armagh, the best team in the league, away from home. The team's ready. McFly is on the bench if we need him, and I think we're probably going to need him at some point. The hardest one we could have asked for this, but we do have a corner. Pumroy comes in and has a massive save. What a chance save right on the start. We've started superbly. If it goes wrong, but at least I know what we'll do next season if we're still at Lima Verde. As McKeever plays it down the wing to Brennan. Brennan in behind. Cross it to King. King puts it in. Scintillating stuff from the boys over the top to the winger Brennan. He waits, he plays it across to fellow winger King, and we're unbelievably in the lead against Amar. Throwing out for McKeever, long throw in, gets cleared. We are playing so well here. Harkin back to McKeever again, the full back. Lays it back to Harkin, central midfield. Back to. Look at this play between these two. It's like Brazil crosses. King gets up, it's two! Unreal play in the corner from these two. Look at them just making a mockery of the best team in the league. McKeever finds a yard, crosses the fellow winger King. 2-0 after 20 minutes. As it stands, look at the league table. As it stands, we sit second. There's a long time ago. Dollingstown are 1-0 down to Bangor. Distillery are 1-0 down to PSNI. We can't, can we? They are playing so, so well. As Brennan finds Harkin all the way back to the dodginess keeper that Wells, who pumps it long straight through the keeper. He has been our killer's heel all season. Million, million percent do we need a new keeper as a ball goes over the top. McCallum, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that was a Chris Kamara moment. If ever I saw one and Brennan absolutely lamps it forward and we survive, it's still 2-0. We've stopped it. It's good. It's good. We're doing all right. Cross comes in. McEwen lays it back. Corrigan smacks one and it goes straight in the top. Corner. McKeever. We need this two-goal cushion. It goes across. Pumeroy can't get there. Babyface. Corey McBride with the longest name in Irish football finds Pumeroy. Pumeroy. Harkin. Connor Harkin, brothers in the middle. King hits for his hat trick, just wide. We need this third goal because this is the best team in the league we are playing. Is Carlin, my assistant manager, ball over the top. It's a great ball. It's baby face. Oh, he's pretty wide. As things stand, right at half time, we are still second. The results are going our way as it stands. Maybe I've spoke too soon. This is right on half time. Where's the ref? Where's the whistle ref? We've been done so many times in injury time. McEwen to Lavery. This will be a heartbreaker. Back to Corrigan. McEwen. Oh, the boys are really... They're trying to get back in shape, but this does not look good. It's broken. He goes down the right-hand side. Crosses in. And his boys give a penalty. Completely against the runner player. There's no way this sack of spuds in goal is going to save this. Brogan steps up. 2-2. Two, two. Half-time, we drop to fourth. Compounded with the fact that Donningstown have got an equaliser to take them back to second. That was a horrible, horrible two minutes. Ah, oh, stress. Ball goes forward. Kelly wins it back. Nicely done. Right, he finds the madman. What can we do here? Madman to Harkin. Can't find his brother. Lays it back to the madman. 
Please don't be mad. Play it simple, which he does. Carlin, system manager. Ball forward towards. Babyface. He's in. He hits. He scores! Unbelievable. What a goal that is. Carlin just smashes it forward. System manager, you get a pay rise. Finds Babyface. Just hits one. Keeper has an absolute mare. 3-2. As it stands, we move up to third, but Dollinstown have got another and they go 2-1 up and two points clear of us. We need a huge turnaround in that match. Free kick to Mamar, right on the edge of the area. This does not look good. McAlennan hits and Wells, the sack of spuds, saves on the line, comes back across and it goes in. Heartbreaking stuff. We've dominated this match. We deserve the win and now it's the infamous injury time. What's going to happen here? Lobo back to burn the keeper. There's two minutes of injury time left. Here's Riley. A ball over the top might kill us, but Kelly wins the ball back. Goes straight back to Armagh. This is not looking good. Ball over the top. And we win it back. Nicely done, boys. Brennan to Harkin. Ball over the top. Babyface chases it. Can't get there. Comes to Lobo. Keeper smashes it long again, but the madman gets there, but he misses out to Gallagher. Gallagher's put it through to McAlennan. This would be ridiculous, and it's wide. To last 30 seconds now. Brennan down the left. And it's given offside, and I think that's all she wrote. And that's full time. It's an absolute heartbreaker. They played so, so well. Free, free. Every cloud, we've been awarded £15 for that draw. And so brings an end to our first season on the Journeyman, and we could not get into the playoffs. We only lost five games all season. We miss out on the playoffs. Just. Ah. <sighs> It's a decent season, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed, but we finished fourth. This is why I love journeyman saves. It's not just zoop through the leagues like that. You need to work at it. Fourth place won't do much for our reputation. It's going to be a slow burn. Now we've got a decision to make. Now, the rules of the save are that you stay for a maximum of two seasons. You can leave after one, though, if a job that you think you can get and is suitable and you can move up is available. So my question to you is, do we stay for our second season with Limaverdi or 